Hello and a very warm welcome back to Hughes Nursery and in today's video I've got the complete growing guide for growing broad beans at home and broad beans are so easy to grow also they are very productive so I'm going to show you all the steps right from planting to harvesting and give you the tips that you need to make sure that they're successful in your garden. In the United States broad beans are known as fava beans and the best time of year to plant these is around your last frost date. However, you can plant a couple of weeks before your last frost date and also up to eight weeks after in terms of getting a yield if you're in zones seven to nine. So basically what we do is grow them in containers and pots because we've had troubles in previous growing seasons with rodents burrowing in and eating the seedlings. And the great thing about using cardboard tubes and also paper pots is that they can actually decompose afterwards. So you don't need to worry about having to take them out of the pot to transplant. And we also use root trainers as well to speed up the process. So here you can see one of the cardboard tubes, plant them about two inches deep which is five centimeters. And just before you transplant them, make sure you give them a good soaking so they're all ready for their new home. Broad beans are luckily really hardy plants so that they cope well with transplanting. Just make sure that the soil is nice and moist. If not, it's good to give them a good watering in afterwards. Now they like a soil which is quite light and high in organic matter. However, you will need to firm the soil down just to stop the plants from falling over. Now there are two methods of putting them in. It's either digging a hole or literally using your trowel as shown just to create a little slit for them to slip into and plant them about eight inches apart which is 20 centimeters diagonally. And here you can see that they are beginning to flower and looking really luscious and the best way to prevent black fly which is the most common pest issue with broad beans is by cutting the top four inches or 10-ish centimeters off. Now the transition from flower to pod is really quick and basically they're ready to eat as soon as they're pretty firm and you can either pick them when they're fairly small like this for a sweeter taste or you can leave them on for an extra week or two if you want to use them in cooking and want to maximize the yield that you get from the area that you're growing in. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video useful. And if you have any further questions regarding growing broad beans, then simply ask them down below in the comment section. Anyway, in terms of what else has been going on in the garden, above you, you will just be able to see a bit of a trellis going across because we're trying to train one of the sylvan berries to go across so it'll look quite nice hopefully next year as long as that works out. Also we've been planting some winter salads in these raised beds now because we've harvested all of our potatoes including the pink fir apple which look really interesting. The leeks were planted out and so are the brassicas so in terms of winter veg it's looking really promising. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated and learn how you can grow your own food at home inexpensively. Goodbye.